All right, so welcome to another stock spotlight where we go ahead and take a look at uh, some tickers that are worth mentioning and talking about. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at Netflix. It's been powering higher quite a bit. Uh, there's a lot of uh, news uh, around the company. If you actually take a look at uh, what's happening here, uh, you know, they've got the password crackdown here that's supposed to happen and uh, password sharing should be a little bit more difficult to now sort of say. So in either case, that's pushing the stock along with many other companies here. Uh, if we just go and take a look at uh, just some of the big boys and players, Netflix up $24 today. That's like 5%. And uh, when you start looking at some of these companies, like AT&T has been down, like Fox, Six Flags. Um, you know, so these are some of the other like media related companies. Uh, they do continue to kind of, mm, you know, not perform as well. If we go ahead and pull up uh, Microsoft, actually, Microsoft is doing uh, quite fantastic. Uh, take a look, that's also up $15. And if we look at some of the other players, here like nvidia um it, it, some of these ai stocks are just pushing a lot higher today so in either case with netflix we are doing quite well but um we are uh, shall we say uh the, the telecom's not doing as hot and we do have earnings right around the corner so there's a couple of things that i think could be playing into this space right now is that they're really watching this uh this space in the meantime to see what's going to happen uh this stock was down quite a lot uh, from the technical basis. And I think we, I mean, we could go back up to the $700 level. We, it's possible we had a big overselling here down into the 170s and now we're up in the 474s. So if you were able to snap it up back here when everybody was panicking, good for you. And you were able to do quite well because that was a massive buying opportunity and it panned out if you were able to do it. Um, now that stock is a little, call, call it a little less favorable. We did push past the 400 and it's pushing a little bit more. Uh, we had that base around this 170. 70 and now we're trending kind of at this angle and this degree so when we start looking at this uh, we are pushing into those higher prices I think you might get a little bit of trouble here around that 500 zone uh, which is very close and that's why with earnings we're gonna see if that's gonna be able to push that stock um, if you do you've got a few levels of resistance here right around that 700 around that uh, 600 level right there uh, maybe five, yeah, about six, 580, 590. Uh, you've got a lot of resistance in those spots, uh, but the stock's been doing and performing quite well. I think it would be healthy for that stock to actually pull back to about a 380 and then power higher. I said the same thing, very similar with uh, Microsoft because a push this high, this quick is a little dangerous. So if we push higher, come back and then power higher, that's much more healthy and that would be great. And it would also create a little bit of a nibbling opportunity when it does pull back at that spot or a buying opportunity. Uh, because then you're showing stability and health within the company. So in the meantime, right now, if we look at Netflix, I mean, it's it's been doing uh, fantastic and phenomenal from a company uh, basis, looking at it longer term, which not everybody does, but looking at it longer term, the trajectory and just overall the line here uh, looks very good. And you can try and line it up even here, 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 here. Uh, it's It's been moving quite well. Like when you look at it, it channel wise, We've also got this movement. So I think, you know, from, from this angle and this movement, I mean, it's it's quite possible if we continue to that route, it, it looks good, it looks healthy. But I would, in the short term, at least be a little bit cautious and concerned around those um, these levels right around that, you know, 575, uh, 580, 590 uh, level. The, the stock has a big uh, price so with that big price tag you need a bigger range so you got a lot of wiggle room so a 25 dollars move does look good uh, but this stock has been building on it here in the shorter term right here building 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 and now powering higher with nice volume there coming right in and that looks uh great from uh from this standpoint so i would say for now stock looks good looks well and I think it should continue to power and push higher definitely I highly encourage you to check out our traders fly uh, channel on the YouTube side if you'd like to uh, learn a little bit more about option trading and uh, about how you can go ahead and uh, learn to trade a little bit more on options so these expensive stocks are not as pricey to put on the trades you can always check out great webinars here as well at tradingwebinars.co uh, if you like anyways thanks for joining me truly appreciate it I will see you in the next video take care